Getting bites. Oh yeah. All right, we are on crappie, guys. I'm gonna have to go to the truck before we go any further and get the uh, bubbler batteries. Change them out. Here he comes. That didn't take long at all. It's minnows is the answer, see? They won't hit a jig. There he is. On a jig or minnow? On a minnow. He's looking like three now, easily three. He's got a big old belly on him. Yeah, it's a full three pounder. Man. Hey, we're falling on the board. Besides my one little five inch crappie I caught. Wilma got a, man, he might be four. Oh, oh God, he's four and a half, five. Look at this. Oh. My hands is inside. Oh, yeah, God. she can put her whole fist in its mouth. He's five pounds, man. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Here, let me get a, my scale. Here, bring it over here. We're gonna. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty inches. I'm gonna say four. He's four pounds. No, he's a four point something. Up. Four one. All right, guys. Four pounds, one ounce. That was definitely a bass or a cat. Now I want to get good pictures of you. Oh, it was an accident. Inch. Four pound, one ounce largemouth on a minnow and bobber. Good job, hon. Hold it down. Hoss. Hold its mouth open. Yeah. Well, I mean, that and regular too. Like the way you had it, but open makes its head look. Yeah. That is a hoss, guys. Definitely made it worth coming right there. Wow. Good job. You want a picture with your phone? You got your phone. Okay, I'll just have good pictures from here. That's a big, that's a beast. Yeah. All right. No. Four pounds is nothing. You don't want to mount a four pound on there. Oh boy. Man, he's every bit of three, four inches. <laughs> Oh man, call the record books, guys. Oh. because I got both kinds of crappie. All right, guys, I just got me a little bluegill on there. That explains why it was biting like a little bluegill. <laughs> Not bad. They're 
we fished here for 20 minutes the other night last week she caught one crappie right before dark and i had this gut feeling even though this is a community lake i've never seen anybody fish it and the bass are real small and stunted i said i from my experience in lakes where the bass are overpopulated like everyone's 10 11 inches when i've seen that happen usually the crappie are the opposite and i haven't even been here one minute didn't even have the camera on and caught a nice black crappie so my theory was right because i've personally seen that happen several times just because the bass are real small does not mean the crappie will be that just means crappie are probably king in here over the bass and it's a really dark male black crappie about eight inches which ain't a bad size so there's potential in here problem we're having right now is the tip of the lake is muddy. There's a line going out about 40 feet in front of me and it goes over right there. Because the lake is clear. I think it's actually caused from the wind. It's coming from the north east and it's blow, blowing everything to this corner of the lake here in front of me and I think that's causing the, the stained water. That's a nice little crappie. Not bad at all. I told you. I had a good feeling about this place. It'd be like heavens. You never know. That. <laughs> I can't believe he was in the dingy water. Oh! Oh! Got him! Got something! I don't know what. I think it's a bluegill again. Yeah! What the heck? God. That's two nice ones. Both of them were nice. This one's a little smaller. Yep. That last one was a male. This is a female, guys. That's two nice hand size eater bluegills, though. My goodness. Real nice sized. Little fighters, too. Yes, indeed. Little fighters. I know. Yeah, if they're hitting this, they'll definitely hit a worm. Actually, got me a large mouth here on the pink Charlie Brewer. First fish in like a half an hour. Hoping there's an evening bite going on. It's my nicest fish of the day besides the crappie. He was in this. There's a little patch of shade back here. The only shade on the whole lake, and the fish are on it. All right, he's a little 11 or 12 incher, but it is a largemouth. That's three kinds, two bluegill, one crappie, and one bass. There you go. Oh, yeah, man. Whoa, that's not bad, is it, hon? I'm gonna take a hold of, I want a picture of me with the jig and the bluegill. That's a nice bluegill for a community lake. My goodness, guys. That's a nice bluegill for a little community pond. That's beautiful, man. That I just told her as soon as that tree goes behind uh, the sun goes behind the trees it's gonna pick up. And I just caught two in the last minute. <laughs> nice little bluegill. I caught three bluegill on this holly door already. You cover a lot in your hands. Oh, yeah, that's a good eating size, boy. Look at that. He's seven inches. Because six is to my wrist. He's seven. 
four seven. It's not bad at all. I'll take them all day. I think that was a blue. It was either a turtle or something. Catfish. Turtle or a catfish. Oh yeah. Bass. <laughs> we didn't get totally cream today, guys. We ended up catching seven fish so far. Two bass, three bluegill and a crappie, or six fish. Yeah, three bluegill, two bass, and one crappie. Once again on the pink slider grab. Little 12 inch bass again. They seem stunted in here. I don't know why. He hit hard. There he is. That's another large mouth. It's my biggest one out of here, I think. It's a whole pound. All right. Hey, three bass. Two bluegill and a crappie. Or no, four bass. That's seven fish now. Yep, four bass, two bluegill, one crappie. Five bass, two bluegill, one crappie. All right. All right, I've lost count. I think there was three bluegill. We got about nine, ten fish now. I'll wait for a minute. I'm gonna throw the jig a little bit. I'm just gonna take turns. Now he's giving me a warning. That might be a crappie. Yes, it is. All right, we got two crappie, guys. Finally, I caught that one in the first three minutes that we was here and didn't get none for five hours. Finally got me another black crappie. I knew right away that wasn't a bass because the bass pulled it straight under. He gave me a warning. It's another eight inch black. So we've caught three crappie out of here total. Two today and one the other day and they've all been keepers, right at barely keepers, but they're not bad. There's potential in here. These fish were biting so slow from noon to five, it was ridiculous. But as soon as that sun went down behind them. Bobber. Okay, if you get, you give me a minnow and I'll give you a bobber. Get a bite. I think it's a crappie. No, it's not. It's a bass. Yeah, we ended up having a good day. It made it worth it. We did good. We did all right. Another largemouth, guys. And the whole town's here now, so I take back what I said at the beginning of the trip. I said, I don't think anybody ever comes here. Well, I'd say at least 10 different people have came here since me and her got here. <laughs> right when I, at the beginning of the video, I said, all right, I think we found a lake that nobody comes to. Well, we were fooled. They just didn't come here the other night because it was getting dark and it was real cold that day. And set the hook up. Did you finally get one? Yep, you got him on there. All right, Wilma's got her first fish of the day, finally. It's a large mouth, little bass. I don't know what you plan on doing here, but good job. You weren't having the best of luck, but it paid it. You finally got something in the end. 
There you go. <laughs> I can tell crappie from a bass. There he was, there he is. <clears throat> there he is. Got it. Bluegill. Big bluegill. Oh my god. <laughs> he bit my tail off. Oh man. He bit the tail off. <laughs> Alright guys, I got a nice bluegill. I thought these were crappie. But look at that thing. There's some giant bluegill in this little pond, guys. I mean, they're definitely eating size. That's a beautiful bluegill. That's a seven-incher. Wow. Heck yeah. Well, that's why I wasn't hooking them. Alright, well guys, this ends our day, ended up having an okay day, we're just learning, we just wanted to do something different.